Hello everybody and welcome to part one of my Mass Effect Let's Play. This is Any Given Game. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Um, I've actually got a uh, existing ID already set up, so let's open that up. Um, the ID is Josie Josie Shepherd. Um, she's my favorite character to play. Uh, I've played this game. God, I don't even know how many times. Um, but out of all of them, she's been my favorite character, and I've played her multiple times. So, uh, I'm going to be, um, my equipment and gear is going to be a little bit more, um, advanced than what someone just starting out would get. Um, Josie is a spacer, which means that she was raised, um, on spaceships because both of her parents were in the Navy. Um, you know, just like a Navy brat, but in space. Uh, and then her reputation is ruthless, and the story behind that is, uh, she was on a mission in Torfin, and, uh, ended up getting, uh, most of her squad killed. Um, but she got the job done, which is what's important to her. And, um, this actually plays into the reason why she's my favorite character to play, because in my mind I sort of came up with this whole moral code for her. And, uh, basically, the code is, she, um, in her personal opinion, a soldier signs their life away the day they sign up, they sign up for the military. Um, from that point on until the day they, requ they retire, they are expendable. She doesn't like it when soldiers die, but she understands it. Because, um, in her mind, the end game for every soldier is to die so that somebody else can live. And, um, when it comes to, like, civilians, uh, she will go to just about any lengths to save an innocent civilian. Um, because, like I said, in her mind, that's her job, to die so that they can live happily. You know? Um, and because of this, uh, sort of hard-ass view of the world, most of her choices are going to, uh, um, be renegade, but it gets pretty interesting later in the game, um, because of this mentality about, uh, saving citizens first, um, it's going to be, uh, interesting, because some of her choices are going to end up aligning with Paragon because of that. Um, and she's also a infiltrator, which, uh, is sort of a mix between a, uh, engineer and a soldier. So she's going to be focusing on, uh, tech skills, and she's also going to be focusing on, uh, pistols and sniper rifles, um, which I love. I love sniper rifles. Um, you'll probably hear me say that a million times before this playthrough is over, but I love, love, love sniper rifles. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. You'll see her face in a minute. She's pretty. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Dun, dun, dun. 
Terrace Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, requiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. All right, so uh, here we have our first um, wheel here, conversation wheel. Um, down here at the bottom is where uh, I'll usually gravitate to because the bottom here is the renegade option. Um, you'll get some renegade points if you choose that option. Um, sorry, hold on a sec. Alright, sorry, my roommate just came back. I need to put my headphones in. Um, anyway, the top option here is usually the Paragon option. Um, you know, the nicey nice option. Boring. And then this middle option here, um, I usually use it when, because the Renegade option can be a little bit much sometimes, because even though she's a Renegade, she's not, she's not mean or hateful just for the sake of being mean and hateful. And sometimes the renegade option can be a little bit much, so I go with the middle option. Right now though, I'm gonna go with this bottom option here. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the Captain off and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The Captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Alright, and um, before we get started, I wanted to uh, make sure that I mentioned my upload schedule. Um, I'm usually pretty quick at this game, but since I'm recording, I'm going to be a little bit slower. But um, I will probably have like four parts done before this part even gets uploaded. So I'm probably going to upload three to four times a week. Um, Today's Wednesday, so I'll probably upload uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, maybe sometimes Sunday, and Mondays. So uh, that's when you can expect a new installment in the adventures of Josie Ste jo jo Sorry, Josie Shepard. Um, anyway, now we have control of our character here. Um, if you ever played a video game, you know the standard 
movement keys, W for forward, S for backwards, A for left, D for right. Uh, just same as any video game. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. And this is Navigator Presley. He's a uh, sort of racist against aliens, and I don't like talking to him, so I'm not going to talk to him. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. And I like Chakwas, so we're gonna talk to her. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Um, should probably mention this. This is the investigate uh, button here. If you click that, you'll get some other options to ask about. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. Well, you did on Torfin. That's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. 